okay so for this uh, tutorial I'm gonna show you on how to sign up to infinityfree.com and upload your files as well as your database so you need to go to infinityfree.com and try to register so basically you just have to uh, fill this up and when you click sign up you'll receive an email that will verify your account so once you click that email then you will be able to uh to log in uh to infinite free so in my case i already have an account here so when i click sign in you'll see a uh, different uh your dashboard for your website so as you can see here i already have my um uh, subdomain or another website so I will try to create another one and uh, you'll see here that we have some choices here but since uh, we're looking for a free account so we just have to select the zero dollar and then create now and on this page uh, you might want to check all the domain extensions so Preferably, I'm just gonna use the um, the shortest. But again, uh, no one's stopping you to to check in or use the others. So let's uh, let's try this, and maybe let's do let's say blog test it dash one hundred five, and let's check the availability. So it seems that it's good. So for the password, so it's just gonna leave it blank, so that it will uh, generate in itself. So this is for the FTP and for the MySQL. So let's just keep it empty. So create account, and we have successfully uh, created our free account. So you can open the control panel, or let's just click finish. Then you'll see in our uh, accounts, you'll see we already have two websites here. So you'll see the uh, the URL for your website uh, on this one. So let's try to create it. Click on it, and I think it's still uh, setting up. But we're we'll just gonna use the, the the ones that I've already created. Oh, here we go. So it seems that we are seeing a, a green with a globe icon so it looks like it's ready so let's click on this one and you'll see here some of the details for your account that you can use so you might so as you can see here these are the uh, logging, uh, login information for your FTP later so if we're going to check the FTP details so FTP is where you upload your files so um, for this case so if you're going to upload your files so we will uh, we will be using FileZilla so FileZilla is a free FTP client so you can just go ahead and download it the client for here then you download uh, the this one the client one and then usually you check the 64-bit um, so once you have downloaded it and installed it you'll see this one so you'll see something like this so for us to be able to connect uh, with our own FTP client so I mean with uh, to access our website so we will be using under the FTP details and we will be using these details so you want to you might want to untoggle or toggle your password here so as you can see here uh, we have the host name so we'll copy it and paste it there and for the username so paste it here and for the password and for the port and then you click on quick connect
So you'll see here, uh, you should be able to upload your files under htdocs, not, not here, since it is restricted. So you will only be able to upload here. As you can see, uh, it's already have some files. And you'll see there that there's a file here that says uh, files for your website should be uploaded here. So obviously, we're going to upload it here. Okay. So maybe let's try to check our website first. Okay, so let's click on home. And um, where was it? Oh, okay. So accounts, then hold on. Okay, so it seems that there is no an actual link for our website. So you could just probably highlight this one, which is your your website or the free account that you created, and right click and go to yeah, just click this go to hello test, or right here you could just highlight it again and right click on on the highlighted text and go to hello test it one oh five zero zero p. So as you can see here, uh, our website is fully running now, but we want to test it uh, just to make sure that we are on the actual files or actual FTP. So let's try to delete this. And right click and create a new file. So let's say index.php. Okay, so right click again and edit. Okay, so let's try to put some text. Let's say hello world. And let's refresh it again. Okay, where's the text? So we're not seeing some text here. Oh, okay. So if you're going to edit, if you're going to edit, your files using the FTP and when you save it it will actually ask go to you you will need to go to FileZilla first and confirm that you're going to uh, you know uh, commit the changes so click on yes and after that let's check it again and refresh and you'll see it you'll see there that uh, the actual changes uh, can be seen in our website so we have basically uh, or successfully uh, uploaded our own file so next is you might want to upload your existing database or you could create a new one so you might want to check on or go to control panel under home click on control panel and you, you will see something like this so you basically just have to approve it There you go so you might so we need to create a new database for so click on under databases so click on my SQL databases and you'll see here that we don't have anything yet so we're going to create so let's see test IT 105 it. and as you can see here we have created our database so to open it so just click on 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 this column you'll see a, a button here the admin button and clicking on it will show you the PHP my admin page so you can create or you can import your existing database so in your SAMP or in your local web server uh, like this one uh, in my case, I want to export this file or this database, so I'll just have to click on export and click on export. So you'll see there that it actually uh, exported my database. It's currently on the 
downloads page on my file so uh, so let's try to upload it so import and then choose a file and we're going it yeah we'll look for it and, uh, and click on go okay think we have a problem but anyway um yeah no password selected okay so in that case uh, let's try to edit our database database and click on go okay all right all right okay so as you can see uh, we have successfully imported our database now next is um, how about we are going to uh, connect our uh, let's try to fetch uh, some of the records in our database so in our code so let's try to fetch code let's say mysqlcon supply uh, for arguments there so for our host so let's go to our account and as you can see here we have the here for the host and then for the username password so we just have to toggle it copy and for the database name is obviously this one we'll see oh wait no that's not it right no so it should be this one so right and then you're just gonna of course we have to confirm the changes so click on yes okay so it should be working like for example uh, let's try to name is users oh no desk tasks and the fields are task okay if Okay, so 
okay. Refresh. And it seems that we might have an error. Okay. Close the semicolon. Save. Refresh. And here we go. So we have uh, successfully fetched the record from our tape. So if we're going to add another one. So that's how you are going to connect your from your database using the details for your from your uh, Infinity Free account. So if you're going, if you the files is already in your uh, in your computer or in your local file, so you simply uh, look for the uh, location of your of the files. So like for example, so Sam. case we have uh, uploaded multiple files uh, from our computer so just gonna have to wait okay so as you can see it already uploaded the files so we're going to check it so we're gonna open it so the directory was ah, three. There you go. So we have uploaded uh, our uh, files from our computer. So that's it. That's how you open or create your account, upload your PHP files, um, export and import your database, and then connect uh, your uh, PHP file uh, to your database. Okay.